Hello, welcome back to Geek Feng Shui. I'm your host and game master, Bob Sellers JR. Today we're going to continue our new adventures in Assassin's Creed. Since I just did my dailies video, I thought I would go back to my new character and play her for a little bit. I will do some more Diablos too, so in case you think I gave up. I have not. I've just been rotating through different games and getting my feet wet. And Really glad I got back in the Tomb Raider. I'm enjoying that immensely, considering how close they are with along with Witcher and, and gameplay. They're different each one, but not as different as they could prove to be. And like if you're like me and you store your characters in different uh, groups, check out Cat uh, Good Brewing as you see here in every video. They don't reimburse me for bringing them up, but I like to show off a gem of our area for fun for the whole family. Check them out online. They're linked down below. Check out breweries in your area. And if you live in a state that has a passport for breweries, you can do visits and I think you get a beer with each stamp on your passport so there is that so as I pointed out you have to make sure you don't overwrite your characters so first thing you do is I load the top end of the game range that I have check out my books at sellersjr.com we'll link you to Amazon or you can find me on Amazon or KiltedSwineBBQ.com or KiltedSwineBBQ on, on YouTube here. I hope to do some videos of my 3D printing coming up. Some more Feng Shui fun. You said, wait a minute, I thought this is a gaming channel. Well, you can't game if you don't have proper figurines proper size how's that for an assassin when I uh, subscribe to the uh, various places I take their little tiny characters and blow them up because I have bigger printers can do that it takes longer to print but it uh, works out for the best. I have several. I'll start profiling on the uh, posting the pictures. So once you load the top one, then you want to do it so you don't screw up like I did way back when. Let's go to the top one again. Oops, actually go to the eight and nine. You go to the bottom one of it. So let's go here. It's Ulkerstad. So we need to travel. There's a couple options that we have. So we can go fast flight. You see the boat icon that you can fast forward to the boat there. So if I want to go to this, I can look. Or we can go 
we'll get the gold. It's not really gold, but I can show you how. You can follow these icons to pick up items or books, sets of armor throughout the game. Some are more of a challenge than others. Ooh, dead bodies. Apparently, they don't clean them up in the game either. They just let them sit there and rot. Now, when you get close, you can go, oh, there it is. If you're invading a fort, you might have to go. Oh, I already did it. You have to shoot your way through the window to get into a building. Sometimes it's a trick to get the character to go. And you get a chest. So that's a carbon ingot. And to exit, you can either go back the way you came. If you're in a combat situation, I have sometimes difficulties. In... Now this one <coughs> is fun because it gives you an example of having to go up a waterfall. And they give you stairs, Mark, that usually is the way you actually have to go get it. And yes, you can climb in the water. Normally in real life, you wouldn't necessarily be able to because you'd slip and fall, but the game. So in this case, a stairwell is not visible unless you consider it's behind the waterfall. Sometimes the stairs are underground. These Vikings were very cool in their thinking. So they, uh, so the stairs are not here, they're up a level. So much like Tomb Raider, you find yourself climbing. Climbing in this game is a tad easier than Tomb Raider makes it out to be. That's the charm of Tomb Raider. And there's the stairs. Sometimes you're going to have things that protect it. So there is that. Oh, so you have ice. This is one of the easier ones. This is a book of knowledge. So you have a new skill to do. Now the armor is down below. So theoretically, I could jump. So do you want to test it? Test that theory? You want to take it easy? Sometimes you'll run into these books and knowledge or armor that are in places you can't go into unless you get a quest. This one's a challenge in the sense that it is up above. And we'll see it there. So you don't get this one from outside. And yeah, when you start a new character, all of these are back in their places. So you've played as much as I have. You're used to knowing where some are. 
don't know if there's a quest or a big thing challenge. Let's see, is this is not open? Is it something I do have to do? When you can't get in, you have to find your way. So I may have stand corrected on that thing. I That's the problem you may run into, is you can see the fries, you just can't get to them. In this particular case, it's just, I don't think you ever... Some of the ones are a lot like this. This is where you go up and look around the building. There might be windows. So what you can do is use your bird. Oh, it's not even in the... I was looking in the wrong place. This is why you double check with your bird. Yeah, because there's, there's a similar place like this. And you might say, well, they copies. Well, the Vikings were not that creative when they created their homes. Stuff, you know, there are certain designs. So, there you saw the trick where I used the bird. So, this is where you kind of look around. and This is a hostile camp. Sneak up from behind. And this is what a loot chest looks like. And you got a new uh, weapon. So let's go look. What do you see, Sune? You see the thing is to collect. I can't remember what that is. I think that's a shot. Let's look and see where we are. Compared to the flight point, that's where we gotta go. We'll take a ride to the ship because you—I must have left the ship over there. When I came back, I didn't take it back. So that flight point is way back up there. So we have a couple options. Let's see how far we can ride our horse. Which I'm sure our horse will enjoy. Going.
Christ. No, I don't want to reboot for my Microsoft updates. That was good to check and see what's up ahead of you. And your horse will won't climb cliffs or rocks, but they will climb the snow. may not appreciate it and enjoy it, but they will. Now I'll send to put these flight points up where it's the most fun to get to. You'd be surprised where pads are. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Killed off a poor bunny. Different bows require different am am ammunition, say that word. I don't know how much closer I can get on horseback. Yeah. This is where we part ways. You have to remember when you have a certain type of bow, what ammunition you need to get. Well, there might have been another road up here. The horse is perfectly happy to stay grounded. And you get the, the beautiful flight around. You also detail the characters steam coming out so it's cold.
I wouldn't recommend jumping down. So, let's put the map now. You have to go way up there. Uh, since I need to go back and get arrows. We'll go back here. This is that town we came and got the flight point from. Once you got the flight point. Now if you look around for arrows, sometimes you'll see them. You send your bird out. Bird will tell you where stores are, gambling, flighting. Look for a general store. Okay, we have over here somewhere. Maybe. And see, there is items in here that you can get. Should you choose to venture in, sometimes these forts are hostile and sometimes they're not. I thought there was a general store here. We'll look down here. There's a store. Which is just too close to it, apparently. You can see a little bar up in the top. It has the symbols on it, how far away it is. Come, come, don't be shy. So if you see the shop, I want to sell. You be sure to always bring your stuff to me. Junk in. These are locally sourced. So these are predator arrows. So I can go all the way up to you 10. Always have some of these. And I can buy. Wonderful. No, so you notice they have the ore and the leathers. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I'll see you later, friend. So you can look and see what you have. What the quiver is going to tell you. You, you need the. Uh, The one on the right, it's like you know, it's called the. Uh, they don't sell them here, but you will find them in other stores later on in the game. You might as well go get. Survey the area soon. To show you an example of you there. You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? Make way for Eivor, the terror of the western shores. There's people I do crap talking, so tell if this is a hostile yeah, it's hostile. 
this area is off limits. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Wait till night time. So you see how the door is barred. Now we gotta figure out a way in. A couple different options. Sometimes it's not the window you go through. There. <gasps> Our thing didn't get. You don't need to make a fuss necessarily. What the same way it came in? We came in the back top, so that's a little difficult. Because we're down to like one arrow left. Aid me, be my eyes. What else do we have here? You can see off the distance there's a piece of armor. Look for more armor. back. Now we're going to sneak out. Avoiding the red.
think we're going to go back to the store and buy some more arrows. We'll go and get some more here. You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkiss, is that you? Wait a minute. Show me. Did I miss? I did. Well, let's go get this close. This is why you want to upgrade your. Hello, friend. Come see my pouches in your bow. Made with the finest ingredients. Come and be all it. That's all that's left. I couldn't have made a better choice. Are you sure there isn't uh, something? I have to go. See you soon. Well, I, welcome, I should show. Welcome. Come see what I have. So this guy only has these, and other ones this. you'll get more. Can I tempt you with something? Items to armor and stuff. Take my leave. So long. Beginning area you're pretty limited. Sunan, guide me. I saw gold up the way here. It's not gold, but... Hmm. There it is. So what you do is you click on it with your A button when you have it highlighted, and then you can find it. Now you notice it says down below, you see there's a lot garage. So you run into these puzzles. And it's like Tetris sometimes. This is fairly easy, but there's other ones that you have to. Now, you have to shoot your way down. And then, you know, some might require a key in later misadventures. Your wings sooner. You can highlight multiple things. I highlight up to three things. So that one's far away. Like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? No, you got the wrong Wolfkist. Some towns you go into will have hostile guards, as you've seen in my daily quests. 
little arrow next to the icon up there tells you if it's up or down in relation to where you are, which can be infuriating and helpful at the same time. Guards here are vigilant. This is a case of a hostile. There it is. Question is, how does one get there? Couple different ways. That's one. Sometimes it's that easy. thinking you're here. They don't know for sure. Let's make that peek a boy. Shoot at you, as you see. And they lose you. Cast about this land, my friend. I gotta wait way over there. We gotta go. Pull your hood up. It's less likely you'll be seen as just a little gizmo for the game. In this case, I might have been a little premature in getting out of my course. So, as you can do, let's jump down and then summon your horse. So how the hell am I supposed to do that? So you see the little stairways here, you can get into that fort. So easy ways if you want to sneak. This one you can sneak around underneath. Some of them have it, some of them don't. And little we'll arrows you see and go by and collect them. So 
So you see that's barred. More arrows. Sometimes you can find a little rabbit hole to shoot through. Idea here is that you're going to want to climb that tower without being seen, which gets difficult. When they do find the bodies, start looking. Happens a lot with forts. So what this is, is a, if you have a fire arrow, which I don't have, you can blow up this. So what I need to... Use these little barrels you can carry around. So you see that little tent thing. Sometimes I'll be in there. Anybody around here? <laughs> Saw him jump down. Looking suspicious. And you have these little floorways. And voila, you're into the book of knowledge here.
So you can do all of this and be stealthy, or you can go in with bows blazing and swords swinging. Still have one more thing here. You may or may not have more arrows up above. So we may need to find these barrels to do an explosion, I think. There's one right there. Let's see if there's anybody around here. See so what you do with these. To pick them up, carefully carry them over to where that little wall was. You'll get to recognize them the more you play. So that door is barred. But over here. Somewhere around here. So you do a drop. So, weapon rooms. So, what you can do now, you can add a ruin as poison buildup for when you get into poisons. Go. I think we got everything that we want here. You can see all these gold things. There's a lot of stuff you can come back and find. So now we just got to get out of here. And that is a stealth mission.
This is the one I was thinking of, I believe. You have to climb up in the rafters to get to. And of course, it's a hostile. It's right around the outside of the fort. And there's a rule, there's a way to get in. We're kind of just a shadow. They can't see you, know, they can't find you. And now they're alerted. Now that we got this, we have to get out. So you can see the fun. So you can make life easier for yourself without a lot of arrows. So I'm going to go loot. Only have one arrow. Oh, 
map. How you raid port. This is how you go get arrows. And I can keep killing for experience. If you wanted to. But uh, I think we found everything your eyes, my friend. in this particular area. For the moment. So let's go. So we have that piece of armor. We'll throw the ship. So you can see that way across the way here. So we're going to take them on a little trip. This is where having the ship is handy. Because sometimes there will be a raid. Sometimes you can just go sneak in. I've done both with a new character. Because you can go around getting flight points in an area and go into places you really shouldn't go. Here's a little raid. Let's go do a raid. Okay. You know that there's some sort of treasure. Usually, if there's nothing left, I won't see. I'll just check Show the bird. There's nothing left there. We take command, everybody gets back to the ship. And you'll see all of them are cold and cold. Water is done. So now we'll go on to the bigger fish. Sometimes it's easier to raise, sometimes it's easier to sneak in. We will see here if this is a raid. It is. The question is, do you want to open up the wolves? Or the... 
Horns, Hornet's Nest. What the heck? See a war chief. They usually have a lot more. So the wealth was connected. He was the wealth. to go underground. That is the trick usually. In this case they make it easy. In other places you have to find the recursive mode. Sometimes you'll find well heads. You can climb down and find stuff. Okay, oh, we still have some people over here. It's really long here, you can get more arrows. You were saying. You're going to take the high ground.
Now in some areas you will have a bell. You let them ring that bell, you can shoot the bell down. If they ring that bell. So yeah, you can clear the whole camp, all the treasures, or you can just go on a stealth mission. I've done both. A lot more XP. Check if you missed anything. Time to go back to the boat. Now, in river raids, when you get into those, when you do a raid on a camp, there'll be chests that you want to collect with each camp. Keys you want to collect. Yeah, I've gone in solo in places I shouldn't have gone and collected things that were meant for a uh, raid. So we need, I think you see the golden dots. Here. We need to get up there. A couple ways you could do that is you could run down the mountain and go over to shore. I've done that. There's a flight point there that you'll want to get. Sometimes there's a wall up. Um, I'm going to set my waypoints. And I'll do my skills. As you go along, you can see how So right now I have Rage of Helheim, Throw Axe, and we will do a, that will do a Slumber. Even though I don't have axes. So as there must be something else that I missed here. I got what I came for. There is a range of the need to believe. Yes, you can run your boat aground, so you gotta be careful of that. Let's 
So by doing the waypoints that you say here, even though they're not actually marked as that, it kind of helps you guide through your boat travels. You can always come back to this area later and get anything you missed. Go, Sunan. So there's a raid there. So I get a lot of XP. So we're going to take that one off. That one off, or leave that. Certain waypoints. A long time to figure out how to do that. Once we did it, made the game a lot easier to navigate. Once you figure out, you can set your. So, like for example, we're going with those. I can set this, but what I'm going to do. See that way up in the hill. What do you see? So what you do is you leave command just as you get close to the shore. And then you can fast travel back to the boat. So the eye starting to come in. When you come out of the water, your uh, hood is down. One of the bad things that World of Warcraft did, and they meant it in a good way, was add flying mounts because you made a game like this where you're used to ground pounding, which a lot of people complained about because they couldn't do things quickly and then suddenly you could fly to areas that you might not normally have been able to get to. One of their bigger regrets. And there's areas in Warcraft where you can't fly. It's 
is where you get your synchronization. Now you have a couple things where you could go. So now when we come to the boat, we need to get there. There's a flight point there. So one and three. Now you can fast travel back to the boat. Now we can continue on to our journey. You're in the boat, you can't put up your hood. You can outfit you, you'll have sales, you'll see in the collection how we do it. This is the default skin, as it were, for your boat, but you can buy packs and I've got some. It's part of the microtransaction fund that people love and hate. You can find plenty of weapons and stuff to do in armor sets. But there's some that have added benefit and look good because you can go and I believe you can make your armor look like something. And you'll get a fast travel here. When you see lights up, that tells you that's the... Have you ever seen so many ships docked at once? Doctor ship Never. here! Nor has there been a gathering of kings so large as this. Come, come, don't be shy. I'm sure I can find a use for this. These are locally sourced. I'm giving you such a good deal. Are you sure there isn't? I must be on my way now. Your clan is a foul stench, but we are strong at it. You know, it's in the grip, it goes so far as your character has a foot on. Yet, by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorham is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops, and Gorham is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. We should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it.
Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Show me what lies ahead. So, the bird. I can go along, figure out how we get into here. And you see the front thing. You 
Archer, shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? Uh. <laughs> You can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I'll give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep growing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. So the Book of Knowledge is right over here somewhere. So you see that key. The key will be important because somewhere there's a lock. Find a way down, there's a little lock. So, yeah. A lot of them are hidden. Mark of Death. Love to play with that. Have a look, Sunan. So where is the... So you see how these are up here, they can't, we can't naturally climb. This is where it gets tricky, because these guys don't want to kill me.
So you could take on those champions. I've done it both ways. I like how the AI forts find the uh, dead bodies. Don't get all upset. Still lives, it pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this, Lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. Remember these two my for king, later. No spoiler. I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bagrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do? This is what you want to decide how evil. You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. And you may or may not see him again. Get no spoilers. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, see? Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink out of cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon.
Ambos an ambush lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Abel? Celsius, no A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Let's see. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Yes, fire, energy, double sugar. And no, they're not a sponsor. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny. So you see this little hut thing that is like you've seen on the dailies. That's your main uh, base, as it were. And you can use it to fast travel. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. Wearing the All right, so we got two more skill points. That gives us a better idea of our path to getting to about this land my friend ladies and Sabor, open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. I will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Religion was a big thing. And we rid this land of dreams and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We <coughs> are not the heel trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. 
The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadwick's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. So this is where... Slide down. I change my tattoos here. Right, we're all leaving. The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kissed? 
They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a bare gelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. This is where you go to the next. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy backgrounds. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hoof. To rouse the gods. Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way. The lines ahead is quite an funny. And on its far sides, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclad and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny to England! To England! For Valhalla! It's kind of cool, they don't really give you the title screen until you get out of the first area. Come back to yes. I was playing. I did not understand any of this from the uh, franchise. I really came to understand it from the movie. Believe it or not, Worked my way backwards. As you play, you can skip all this, but why? 
University of Cambridge, Dr. Sirka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. That's quite nice. Soothing. Let's have a look. So you can go in here, you can uh, see the different stuff. Some of it's good, I mean, it's English location note. Tells you some hints about assassin bureaus and things that you will eventually <laughs> But uh I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It yeah, felt like... Because you're playing the stronger data stream here, so this will be interesting to see when it shifts back like and forth. like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. 
Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. <laughs> a way to get through a travel without having to actually get to a travel. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolfiest. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. What where are you at? Just over in Scotland last year. I have two skill points. England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead. You can see already that there is a armor piece you can get. When the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon! Sail on! Yes! I'm ready for whatever these green thumb fairy folk have to throw at us! Let's go through these gates later on, you'll have, in, particularly in river raids, you'll have a chain lock, so that's how they, they tended to stop, go back to boats the back in the day. In England, <laughs> the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we I'm not steering the bottoms. Changing no. the view. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we work see fit. Look ahead there! Is that the boss's for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to 
consider timid, Gog? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which a god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We have idols of our gods and make worship before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Look there. What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding, once we have settled. You can see the chain off to the left. These are easily remedied by going and sneaking in and... must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. In history, there was a great move by the Vikings where they built a log road and moved the boats across land to go around. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. What's wrong with you? There's a couple different ways. Let's go get the skills first. That's to take out their oversight. Hmm. I should be cautious around here. So theoretically, this could be a raid as well.
huge and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. That is indeed how you take out. Anybody else left alive that I have to worry about? <laughs> and you can dive underwater. There's some areas that you will do underwater. It's fun. The detail is amazing. Even if you never look around the boat, they have the characters acting as if they're talking and stuff. You have panoramic view. Suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dad? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants Sometimes it's kind of fun just to watch. They held dominion. See what people on shore would see. Their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, Hog. Get your mother, it's talking. They will test them. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, we find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, pull back. Something is not good. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. But if they are foes, then we fight them all together. You gotta learn how to steer the boat. There is a trick to it. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Avon! On me! What's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Hornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout. 
and draw your weapon. Oh! Okay, let's finish them. You. I want no more surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, Rabbit. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands Royalty. sold off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Zark? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Steelbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. So shifty looks that make you suspicious. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Uh, honored family, friends, welcome to your new home.
with river raids, you get uh, things to build up the camp, or not necessarily river raids, but when you go raiding these different raids, there's stuff that, that you know, build up these different buildings to better and better. Fine work. Of all the games I have, any I've seen. I've seen uh, previous come, my favorites. Found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, is actually Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of Ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. Sue. So, what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Welcome to the new home. So the village is quite simple. You can see these tents are set up. They're not businesses yet until you build them up. Can you do that in waiting? Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How oh, I miss those days. Uh, ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me. I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. And you can collect maps when you get the uh, cartographer. So we go to world. Now you see all these. So what I do, and I will do here as we go forward. So this is a raid. You can see kind of the levels of the areas. These are masks you collect. Kind of see 
again, my the other things that you collect, the uh, things you seem to do on the daily, are not going to be around because I took a character and went around and collected all of them. And you have uh, these knights that you fight. So. I think, it's because even here, as you can see, you don't have the things I do with my dailies. So for now, we're going to call this a video. And just say, nine. And that will be it. For this video and we'll come back and have some more fun speaking of fun you can check out my books sellersjr.com or on amazon as well as kiltedswinebbq.com or kiltedswinebbq channel and if you want to go out and have a really good time and you're in our area check out chaotic good brewing company great place for fun and events such as trivia dungeons and dragons magic the gathering Food trucks, pizza galore, and fun, and they're pet friendly in the warmer weather. They have it's an old car wash that the door opens, and they have an outside patio. And it's a lot of fun, and enjoyable. So with that, I'm going to hang it up for this video. Have a good one.